I am not wearing a hat otherwise I would have doffed it but I will still give a polite applause to Avesh Khan what a final over maybe maybe the game wasn't won or lost there they could have lost yes uh, overall good performance from Rajasthan but to give what three runs in that final over four runs four runs in that final over Last when you're defending overs, 17 runs uh, that was just outstanding outstanding you know the last two overs is not that obvious because Sandeep Sharma still got hammered for a six and a four mm. the last over that Avesh Khan bowls yep. absolutely nerves of steel and sometimes runs don't do justice to how a over has been bowled that is why you needed to see that over if you did you will realize the craftsmanship of a fast bowler was at full display of him nailing the Yorkers if you wanted to see an example of really nailing your Yorkers with consistency every ball you needed to see that particular over by Avesh Khan we'll get into the details as it turns out it is Rajasthan Royals that have won the game by a margin of 12 runs so it's two wins out of two for Rajasthan Royals two losses out of two for the Delhi Capitals no surprises there uh, I mean when we looked at their team didn't look like a team that that seemed to be the top four team but Rajasthan on the other hand was uh, you know seeming like a better team what you'd have to say this I was just see it seemed like a battle of three RPs but it's that one RP that triumphed over the other two RPs Riyan Parag mm -hmm. triumphed over Rishabh Pant, Pant and Ricky Ponting yes so the one RP the youngest RP of the three is on the winning side not quite for the other two RPs we'll break down the game where they could have won where they could have lost but overall you'd have to say even though it, it seemed like very close towards the death had Delhi won I would have been very surprised I would have had to actually start looking at areas where Rajasthan lo lost because if you look at the entire game they seem to have covered all bases as in they uh, you know got enough runs despite a poor start then you know the bowlers were all on spot on dot as it comes to their bowling performance whether it was the spinners in Chahal and Ashwin to begin with their fast bowlers in board Nandre Berger Avesh Sandeep everything seemed to be fine and yet if they had lost we would have to really dig deep to look for reasons where Rajasthan really lost the game maybe Tristan Stubbs would have been that guy that That's would have come thing. to our mind the only thing that I could put as being a difference maker would have been a freak knock from Tristan Stubbs and again Stubbs I think he's a bit of an outlier when it comes to you know T20 cricket would have been shit. that freak I mean I'm it just is. saying uh, it would have been uh, just mm. let's take the last over yeah. uh, uh, or the last two overs from mm. that spot where he got hit for a six and a four yeah. so there were 10 balls remaining and at that time they needed somewhere around 20 runs. 21 yeah so let's say 10 runs to a stubs 10 runs to Akshar mm. okay that takes Tristan Stubb to 54 in five more balls so that's 27 ball 54 would have been good no, no, very good now I agree. not freak no, no, same for Akshar I'm saying even if that would have happened yeah. only thing you would have attribute it to would have been Tristan Stubbs knock yeah but again, again it would have been very tough no, why is that freak is because see if you look at Tristan Stubbs he's a bit of a contrasting curious case in T20 I cricket his strike rate is 150 plus in T20 cricket in general, strike rate of 149. Strike rate in IPL cricket, 88. I am not kidding. 88. He's underwhelmed that badly in the IPL. That his career strike rate prior to this game was 88. Whoa. Yet, this is a guy who am I backed? We know how their young talent scouting system is. They would have seen something in him. This is also a guy who has been part of the Sunrisers Eastern Cape. Not just that scored a 50 in the final this final, year yeah. so he there is a talent there there is serious talent there no i'm sure he was a talent to have kept that mccurk out he, yeah. McCurk, yeah if mccurk is sitting out who is spoken so highly of we were talking about him mm. uh, in sports today so if he's keeping him out clearly they really believe in that talent yeah. and of, he did show glimpses of it i mean this match was a match of two very very contrasting teams i mean if you look at it Rajasthan Royals' start was terrible, but Delhi had a pretty good fast start. Mm. Three overs, they were I think close to 30 when Mitchell Marsh fell to Nandre Berger. 
everybody, Delhi Capitals will be ruining that final over bowled by Andrich Nautier. 25 runs and look at the masterclass that Avesh dished out. Two overs that he bowled, the 18th and the 20th, both yielded a combined of 13. I was just thinking, you know, if, they, if Delhi had won, uh, the, the one reason, one of course, Stubbs knock would have been good. Yeah. You know what would have been the turning point? Giving Ashwin the 17th yes. over. Oh, yeah. See, I'll tell you why. Nothing against Ashwin. Before that, he, his two overs were fantastic. Yeah. But it was a different situation in the match. When you're in the death, and that's why you avoid. Okay, if you've reached a situation where you have no option but to give Shams Mulani the last over, mm. you can understand because you've run out of bowlers. Yeah. Or you give a Nawaz the last over because you've run out of bowlers. Yeah. I can understand. That is not the problem the Rajasthan Royals were facing because at that time, with four overs remaining, the fast bowlers had five remaining. There was one left for Bolt, one left for Nandre Berger, uh, one left for Sandeep Aave. and two left for Avesh. Aavesh, yeah. So there were five overs left for the fast bowlers at that time. You had only four. At that moment, I did not see a need for them to have gone to uh, someone like an Ashwin at that time. Not taking anything. And he gives away 19, then he had 15 and over, he gives away 19. 19. From there, you have just three overs to go. Uh, you know, it was a blunder which they got away with. Yeah. And it also made up for the fact that, okay, Trent Bolt dropped a catch in that over earlier. That was when Stubbs capped it. It was a tough was catch. It was, it a, was tough a tough catch. because it was uh, a sky. Up. But you've seen Bolt take some. Freakish catches. He's, he's taking some screamers. I mean, if you look at it, I can look at look back at the West Indies, the team that he's taken the most freakish catches against. He took Pollard once in that way. He took Ramdeen in that sense. Those one-handed stunners of his own bowling. Man, oh man. I mean, th this kind of catch for bold standards was doable. This is because it's bold standards. But otherwise, yeah, very difficult bold catch. Bold standard by bold standard. Gold oh, standard yeah. by bold. So, <laughs> it was swirling. It was in the lights. It's very difficult. So, yes. But then those two sixes gave Delhi Capitals that faint lifeline. And when Sandeep's first two balls went for six and a four, then... But, but you know, talk about Sandeep also at that time. Yeah. And again, what would conventional logic would tell you that if you got a bolt in your team, I know he's more potent with the new ball, but he is also bold death overs. He's that yes. experience and he's done a good job at that at the international level. So you got a bolt, you got a Nandre burger who can be quick, who will be tough to hit. You have that and yet you are going to a Sandeep Sharma and an Avesh Khan and that's a good thing. Yeah. What that tells you is Rajasthan know exactly what piece of the puzzle to fit where. They know that this is the task that has been assigned to a Sandeep Sharma and an Avesh Khan, death bowling. And when we are sitting, who do they go to? As 100% sure, you know that you will have to go. That's the job you've given to these bowlers to do it. And Sandeep Sharma also nails those Yorkers. Yes. It's wide so Yorkers. underrated. You know, now I've started seeing bowlers going wide off the off stump and various other things. You know, you're trying to change how to deal with these new age batters. You're saying they're batting deep in the crease. They're changing their position. So Yorkers are not as, you know, potent as they used to be, at least that's the talk that you get in new age T20 cricket. What these two bowlers told you, no. Good old Yorkers and it's not even that, I mean Sandeep is not even, you know, express pace yeah. that you'll say, okay, express pace, even that's beating them. He's a decent 130-ish sort of, a, sometime even late 120s on yeah, occasions, yeah. that sort of a bowler. But he's told you, if you get your length right, and if the batter is changing his position in the crease, you find a way of getting those Yorker, right? If you do or a lower full toss, that's still the go-to delivery. If you can nail it, if you have the courage to nail it, it does. But I think what has helped these two bowlers is probably this identifying of roles. No lack of clarity. You made up your mind. You've told this. This is what you do. I'm sure this is what they practice day in and day out in their math simulations and the nets. Executing it in a match is a tough thing, but they're able to do it. So kudos to the two of them. I mean, them. Sandeep has been a proven death overs bowler for the past couple of seasons now for Rajasthan Royals. You saw it in that CSK game after getting hit. Similarly, he got hit for two sixes by MS Dhoni in Chepok. But look how he bounced back after that. He has that uncanny ability to nail those wide Yorkers. And in Avesh Khan and Sandeep Sharma, you've got two bowlers who can nail the wide Yorker effectively. Look, when did Delhi Capitals realize that their struggles are going to be hard? After that 1-4, when he bowled that wide Yorker outside to Aksar Patel, it was just on the tram line. 
he realized okay now i think it it's going to be difficult and whatever shots he tried to hit straight down the ground there was a fielder so the boundary options were hit outside of wide to slice them anyway it was difficult there was already a fielder position there great captaincy by sanju on top of that two bowlers nailing it consistently meant okay now i think run scoring is going to become very difficult even stubs he tried tried and tried but it just couldn't but work out what an evolution for sandeep in that sense what yeah. was the sandeep sharma who made his name in ipl cricket to begin with he's now a veteran been yeah. playing so many season was the guy who you wouldn't bowl in the death yes. who you would give the new ball to because he could really swing the ball especially the one that would come into the right hander he was a master at that and so you said listen you're going to bowl three up first up till the ball is new and then we don't want to have any of you you know done we'll get someone else to do it but imagine when he with time lost that bit of pace and maybe that sort of an ability that he had he could still swing it he realized he needed to evolve yes and find a different skill of being able to nail those yorkers and to have done it kudos to sandeep and even to avesh yeah. remember yeah, was, avesh he was the guy who did this as a revelation you know in in in, in, in know, yes a for delhi capitals when he was bowling those death overs and he said this is the next big thing and on the back of that got into the indian team but from there on i remember is the asia cup onwards yeah. that happened in the uae got fever started from there on would play not play injury issues just before that was started leaking runs and you said is he the same guy oh you know what was the tag that was given to him one season wonder yeah is that one or a one and a half season wonder that's all he is he cannot do it he's lost it and he was getting hammered for a lot of runs for him and then unfortunately as i said suffered from fever viral at that time then lots of injuries never really available in and out of the indian team if coming in sitting on the bench at best get, getting a game or two not consistent run tough time but for him also to have bounced back and found that mojo once again so the two fast bowlers in sandeep and avesh hats off I yeah mean. i mean avesh you are talking about that one good season 21 that one good season also earned him a big money move to lsg mm. where he was quite frankly terrible no two ways about it his most memorable moment in lsg was throwing his helmet off <laughs> that with the bat in hand <laughs> the best buy in the world uh, he had a buy and he made it to the crease he threw the bat he threw his and the helmet down and copped a fine and that <laughs> was his biggest moment and again i remember for delhi capitals he was that bowler in 21 In fact, 21. I remember there were two bowlers. A lot of people were excited about. Mm-hmm. One was him. The other was Harshal Patel. Both of them were like, "Oh, toast of the town, next big things." Harshal's career, unfortunately, continues to flounder. Avesh, first time really you've seen him bowl in the death for his new franchise. Let's see his struggle. You know, this is phenomenal. This is vintage. Like 2021. There is whole clarity now. There is whole yeah. clarity, and I think. after been left out of the indian cricket team i mean it's been 2022 asia cup right that he was left out and then didn't play much in 2023 i think he didn't play at all in 2023 for india quite possible maybe t20 i some here or some there some here or there but then i think now he's realized that yes making it to the indian team you have to sustain your place and you need these kind of consistent performances and then he's also had a good uh, domestic season by the way for madhya for pradesh, madhya pradesh. Yeah. he really did well there also i mean just looking at okay great for the indian bowlers just trying to think of uh, the south african team shaping up for the t20 world cup huh? yeah. uh classen is in fantastic form makram showed you that he is in good Brevis. form brevis showed you nandre burger today rabada has also started well rabada started doing well nokia is the uh, uh, nokia is the only exception yeah. in that sense Uh, Keshav Trish- Maharaj could also have a uh, fine say if he gets picked. That is. Well, how is he getting picked for this RR side? No, but then for He's South done. Africa he does well. Yeah, for South Africa he does well. Mm-hmm. But so many guys, so yeah. many guys. Am I missing someone? Let's. Yeah, yeah. What the openers? QDK is QDK gone. QDK is no longer there. Yeah. But who are the other openers? I don't remember the openers. That's the thing. Your open. There, there's a big void in the opening setup if you look at it. Tristan Stubbs. Yeah, we mentioned Stubbs. Stubbs, Did Brevis. Yeah, yeah. Stubbs, Brevis, Classen. Classen, Markram. There's a Janssen. Ah. Marco Janssen. Yeah. Although he's not had a good start for SRH, but then he does have the potency in that way. In T20s, none of them are forgetting. None play the IPL much. The Tabla Shamsi. Shamsi is there. There is also a very canny operator in Lungisani Engidi who doesn't get to play for Delhi Capitals. Yeah, this year he got ruled out. 
we mentioned, mentioned Kesha, Kesha Maharaj. Right? So that is why Shamsi Maharaj, Rabada Nautier, Yansen. There's a lot of yeah. good talent there. Yeah, and talent, and the lot of Indian players that we're talking about are not in the scheme of things for the T20 World Cup. Yeah. For example, Avesh will struggle. Anasya has an outstanding IPL. Yeah. Uh, Sandeep Sharma obviously is not there. Yuzi Chahal. Yuzi Chahal. For the some reason. History. Yeah. <laughs> no, they ignored him, whatever. Now, in that, by the way, in that spin bowling department, it's tough also. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to judge Kuldeep by not a great start to the IPL. He's been fantastic overall. Yeah. So, there is Kuldeep. There is going to be a Jadeja, there is an Akshar Patel. Patel. There's but a I, Ravi Bishnoi. There's a Ravi Bishnoi, but I still think, if you ask me honestly, your best leg spinner even now is Yuzi Chai. Is Yuzi yeah, Chai. Ahead of a Bishnoi, taking nothing and away from he, I agree. He bowls in the death. Yuzi Chahal can bowl you very good overs in the death. But yeah, why was... not the only mystery that India, RCB letting him go also is another big mystery. Then again, yeah. RCB even let go his successor. RCB even let go of Chris Gale yeah. afterwards. Asaranga. Asaranga was left out. Chahel. Hazelwood. I mean, he didn't uh, get picked because he was not going to be available in an injury also. Mm. So that's why that's yeah. fine. But coming back to Delhi, one thing that I really wanted to point out of course, you know, we have uh, waxed eloquence about how good the bowlers from Rajasthan have been, their captaincy, their batting, everything fantastic. But for Delhi, one thing sticks out like a sore thumb. And that is the name of Ricky Bowie at number three. Yeah. Okay, now I, I, I know a lot of these franchises are doing it, you know, sending a young kid to do it. Some of them do well, nothing against him as well. Yeah. But if you've got a Prithvi Shaw, and I agree that Prithvi Shaw over the years has been criticized because of various other things. But Prithvi Shaw, on occasion, the only thing you can criticize him for is sometimes inconsistency. But you can't criticize him for struggling or strike rate or intent and these things you cannot, right? Yeah. More often than not, he'll give you a sack. If you've got a Prithvi Shaw, unless, unless there is something seriously wrong in terms of, because this question was asked whether he's injured or not and I think the Delhi capital manager said, no, it's tactical. Pray explain to me what tactical could it be that you get to have a Ricky Bui play ahead of a Prithvi Shaw. No, no, I, I'm sorry, fine, you want to keep a Prithvi Shaw out. What's Yash Dhul done wrong? Who's, who's, what did he do? I, I'm sorry, but if you, uh, Ricky Bui, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Maybe Yash Dhul is not, I mean, let's say is not a game changer with his strike rate in yeah. that sense, right? As uh, opposed to... As opposed to Prithvi, is what I'm saying. Ricky? No, Ricky, yes, but... But you know, right now, you're only looking at one player, right? Ah, so, no. so what is the harm if you have a Prithvi Shaw and a David Warner open left hand, right hand? And Mitch, and Mitch Marsh, Marsh had three, three bats there. He's not, a, he's not someone who relies on the power play. He's a big hitter, tends to play at number three a lot for his country also. So, and know. if you had even done that, honestly saying, assuming you've done it, I cannot understand the reason why you do it. No matter what, and nothing again, Ricky Bui. The way Akshar Patel has been batting, I'd rather have him bat higher than exactly. Ricky Bui any day. Any day, Akshar Patel, the batter, has been outstanding. Outstanding. He needs to bat higher up. I'll even go so far as to say higher up than Abhishek Purel. I know Abhishek Purel had a fantastic game last time, but I'm talking about consistency. Mm. Consistency for some time now. He needs to bat up there. Rishabh Pant's strike rate also will come into questioning, yes. but I think you can give him some leeway he because he's leeway. Yeah, coming back gradually. Uh, but you know, See, Rishabh Pant today will escape. 28 or 26, the way he got out, I think there might be a fine call because he really banged the bat in anger when and he was going through a dugout. Yeah. yeah, so that's why he was angry. But today... But angry on whom? On himself. On himself. I'm on, himself I'm sure. on himself. 28 or 26, I think in those middle overs, he allowed the run rate to mount and mount and mount. And that's why <coughs> he's angry that he didn't get the job done. And also because of the fact that, okay, there was a recovery phase that was going on. But he let it go at the last moment. And also, Rishabh Pan, 28 of 26, but today, his other competitors also didn't set the stage on fire. Like a Sanju Samson. Sanju also didn't have a big score, like how he had in the first mm. match. Dhruv Jurel, okay, 20 of 12. But are we seriously looking at a Jurel 
when there is already a Samson in contention. That is my concern. No, Jurel will need to have an outstanding season. My point is if you have anyone, say the top three contenders realistically, mm. go, and not necessarily based on order in terms of yeah. where they stand as far as India selection goes, Jitesh, Sanju who is the backup and a Pant. Pant. Because he's been said, he's been uh, earmarked very clearly by the BCC secretary saying, listen, if he keeps wickets, he's a contender. He needs to have a good season. He'll be a valuable course. asset if he, he has a good season. Yeah. And now the key is there. He needs to have that good season. And, and you know what has happened is, and I was talking to a few people, including uh, friend here Shivam also. Mm. What has happened is, we have very short memories yeah. in India. Somebody is not playing for some time. Na? Mm. You tend to forget. And what has happened? T20 cricket had a bit of a gap because of the test series. And India played against Afghanistan. If you were sitting right after the Afghanistan series, eyes closed, you would have said Jitesh is your first choice yes. keeper batter, okay. right? He was doing a specialized job at that 6-7 tough position and doing it consistently. The position that is so tough to be consistent with, he was doing it consistently. And so he was the first choice. Now this Test series happened and I think Jurel had one of the finest debuts for a wicketkeeper mm. batter for India for a long time. Agreed. So you kind of forgotten. Yeah. You kind of forgotten. Now he enjoys more goodwill amongst fans Jurel than even someone like uh, uh, Jitesh Sharma. Mm. That has happened. So I would like to remind everyone that remember when India played the last series which was their full strength team because they were getting up to be announcing you know, their T20 team going forward. Even players like Virat Rohit, who had not been playing T20 cricket, came back. So that was almost an indication of what their team is looking like at that time. Barring a few changes based on IPL, one or two. What did the Indian team do? Play Jitesh first and Sanju went as a backup. That may have been different had Ishan did not have that issue. May have been different. Maybe he would have gone. But anyway, as said and done, Sanju went. So what you can think of, I mean, we can look at six, seven wicket-keeping options. We will yes. we'll include everyone that we want to include. Yeah. And, uh, Tom, Dick, Harry, mm -hmm. KL, everyone we are <laughs> including. But realistically, I think based on what has happened, and if you have not given Ishan a contract and he doesn't bat at that position also, realistically, you have, I think, if I won't be wrong to say three, three. contenders. Yeah. Mm. In Jitesh, in Asanju Samsung, and a Jurel to that Jurel. extent. Jurel, maybe number three in that list and has to do well, but he, he'll still be there because you never know, it's happened quite often with Sanju that he's been ignored and again what has happened, started off very well, has, will have that day. And so Jurel might still come in and bats in that position. But still remember, Jitesh remains your incumbent. Mm. Yeah. Remains the guy who held that position. And it's typical Sanju Kismuth. Open. Yeah, but for the Indian team, he was in he one was day cricket batting 6-7. Rahul Dravid had told him, he came yeah. out in an interview and said, I have been told to bat there. And he's I number bat. 3 in Rajasthan, always he's he been number 3. He was not impressive. Ah, he got out early. He said he wasn't impressive. First ball, duh. Yeah, first ball. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Doesn't matter, but that's the position he's been giving. But Sanju's Kismat, we are all forgetting. In a T20 World Cup, where he'll play only ODIs. That is another thing. Yeah. And in ODI World Cup here, he will only play T20s. Yeah, okay. That is Sanju Samson's Kismat. Now here, if we are all hoping that these three contenders have a really good IPL. But what if... And one contender, sorry, I just forgot. Again, left field, Rishabh Pant, but I would still say number yeah. four in that list. No, he needs to be outstanding. Yeah. Out yeah. Outstanding. But he is such a name that... If he does have an, it wouldn't have been open for anyone else. Yeah, yeah, an outstanding so. IPL, yeah. suddenly you come back. But Rishabh being Rishabh and the impact he's had, I think if he does have an outstanding yeah. IPL, he comes into that record. Even if he has a middling IPL, maybe say an average of 35 with a strike rate of 135, he will have that emotional quotient factor also attached to him. No, but depends on how Sanju and everyone else have yeah. that. Also, this Jitesh. is okay with the disclaimer that Sanju and Jitesh and uh, Dhruv Jurel all have very low IPL standards. Actually, levels. Jurel, I think, is a bigger contender, dare I say, than Samson for two reasons. Yeah. One, because Samson has pretty bad kismet. Yes. <laughs> he does tend to just, he'll lose form, he'll go off the boil at the worst times possible. Yeah. Part of it down to him, of course. Yeah. Uh, the other is that Jurel does bat load on the order for Hara. So he's proved or he's number five, six, yeah. No, but but well, as I said, Sanju made it very clear that Rahul Dravid had told him you'll mm. have to bat lower down and he was yeah. okay to it. No, I'm saying Sanju is there if he can have a five hundred run season. 
then no reason looking beyond because you'll go with form saying okay anyway he's a backup and if need be we'll bat him there jitesh is still the first choice assuming yeah. jurel oh i mean he has that ability last year also we saw he came in i think for riyan parag at one point in time yes stonking runs low down the order he has that ability mm-hmm. kl who can forget his uh, no 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 if see oh, if lsg win the title Hmm. But what position will he be batting? No, he is batting opener. I told you. No, All those rumors. I told you. People saying, "Oh, now he'll bat middle order. Won't happen. The franchise won't allow him. He's batting top no, order." No, then it's he's he not. He will continue to. It was a weird compromise, though, because the franchise is like, "No, no, you can keep despite the fact that we have Quinton de Kock and Nicholas Puran, but you can't bat middle order." I, is you got half hog? But you. But it would have been foolish. I told you, there's yeah. no way. Wicket keeping, if you give him, I don't think is a big, big debate. Fine, yeah. he's keeping or Puran or whatever. You couldn't have had him in the middle order. He's batting top order. Mm. But if you make an exception, let's say for <laughs> Samsung, batting top order, bring him. What about KL? Yes. Sir, if uh, KL continuing opening in this IPL and LSG will be title, then India will not win the World Cup if KL will play. <laughs> he says if KL I mean, goes, India will win the World Cup. That's an opinion. It's not a factual opinion. Yeah, it's not factual such, because see what Shivam said. Everyone can't yeah. tell he doesn't have a yeah. He says if because I gave an example of Lucknow. What if they win? He has an outstanding season. Doesn't he come into the? Reg- he says if LSG win the IPL, KL has a good season, and KL comes into the Indian team, then India is not winning the T20 World Cup. As opposed to, I want to ask you, as opposed to, KL does not come into the Indian team. India is winning the T20 World Cup. Huge chance. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know which world you are living in. No, I think this will be the first T20 World Cup. Doesn't matter who you are taking now. You pretty much know the team that you are taking. Mm. Forget KL Rahul not being. This will be the first T20 World Cup where I may struggle to put India into top four. I'm saying You're it with outsider. yes. I'm saying it with honesty. I can't think of a last ICC tournament. Where I did not pick India sure shot top four. See, if you, if you Every ICC tournament I picked India sure shot top four. Mm. Sure shot top four. I did not know if they'll win not sure shot top four. This time and I, I don't want to say it because there's still time here. Yeah. This time probably as I'm standing now I still haven't given my mind to it. I may struggle to put India sure shot no, top. I'll, four. I'll give you a top four right now. Two reasons. reasons. It's just how other teams are playing. Yeah. What there are no two no, reasons. No, I'll give you four reasons. Australia, England. Ah. Wow, Bilkul. Why not? India, India are not better than England in T20 See, cricket. See, power friend. hitting as far as it's concerned. Mm. They are See, technically, they are well behind. Technically, mm. technically, if you see, England are current Older champions, champions yes. T20 World Cup champion. Australia are playing on a different level South right Africa. now in the team. South Africa in T20 cricket, ODI West cricket Indies. still not now. West Indies. West Indies. By the way, don't count even on New Zealand. New Zealand, Pakistan has had a better T20 World Cup record than you the last T20 World Cup. Last two. T20 they World Cup. knocked you out. Yeah. Last to last T20 21. World Cup. Last T20 World Cup. They're finalists. Yeah. They're yeah. coming in this T20. So let's be honest. Yeah. This is the first time where you will sit. We've just taken six, seven names. India is not show shot top four. Not show shot top yeah. four. Before this, every World Cup, I was like, India to hai, one or two, three teams you take. See, I'm plus yet again, plus yet again, there is too short a turnaround time from IPL to the World T20. No, those are minor things. Let's yeah. say that that are, those are excuses we look for when ah, India doesn't do well. Also the same I'm saying overall, if there was enough gap, enough rest, everything put together. But you know, still, but you know, England have pulled certain personnel out, citing workload management. Are, but look at the personnel That's they okay. pulled out. Wood is fine, but they pulled out Gus Atkinson, and this is where the lo- holes in logic come. Gus Atkinson barely played a game in the ICC World Cup. He, he did, did a couple of games. A cup. That's my point. He didn't play a single Test match in the five-match Test series, and he was never going to be starting for KKR because of Mitchell Stark. So you pulled him out, citing what workload management precisely? He's not going to be starting for them in the T20 World Cup either. Not at first, because again, Mark Wood. We'll see. We'll see. Bina pressure. But yeah, that will be a rare thing for the Indian team but to not go as favourites. No. See, but can I tell you, they may not go in as favourites, but India can never go without pressure because of the pressure of the fans. Yeah. Exactly. Fans always hope. You have gotten Rohit and Virat back, both of them. 
It's the last dance, potentially. It's the last dance. The desperation is there. The desperation is. Yeah, that is. is no, I don't agree. There will be another debate whether <laughs> they should be there. I don't know. Because yes, they are coming back. We all agree on that. Of course, uh, so they are. So then leave it at that. They are the first two names in that squad of 15 when it's announced on May 1. And on that playing 11 sheet. Of course, Leave they are the on. first two names. Let's talk about good things like Riyan Parag. Course, not Riyan Parag match. for T20 World Cup. I'm not saying that. Man of a match, he deserves it. By the way, kudos to Rajasthan for sticking by him and uh, you know backing him. No other franchise would have giving him the role. By the way, sending him to bat at number 4 consistently. Yeah. He's showing them who's the boss. Ahead of Shimron Hekmaier, potentially. Yeesh. And he's done well two games now. And I know Ashwin also who batted at three, but today was sent at five. Yeah, at five. <laughs> and who batted very game. well. Ashwin for T20 World Cup. No, please no. Please See, no. we thought this would not happen in 2022, oh, but it happened. No. I don't think it's happening this time around. I, I said the same thing in 23 and somehow we found his way there again. But that was because uh, which bowler got injured? Did any bowler? Akshar. Akshar, Akshar, Akshar got Akshar. injured. Now only if an injury happens, then Ashwin. Injury so will happen. Then Ashwin for T20 World Cup. Yeah. This time maybe uh, see Aksar got injured in the World Cup. Jaddu got injured for the T20 World Cup. Maybe it's Kuldeep's turn to get injured. Ar, <laughs> why are you being so negative? I don't. No, not being so negative. Your your biggest match winner gone. No no no. Nobody's getting. Jaddu was your Let's biggest match winner. Let's look at better questions from our, our viewers. Yeah, they'll be. No, <laughs> one funny meme doing the rounds. Yeah. Though, is, uh, it's this picture of uh, Ashwin and Dinesh Karthik. <laughs> And both of them are looking and they've captioned it, Vanakam Selectors. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I think there's a boat for DK sailed. Hmm. It's done. 2022, it's done for him. That's it. Okay. Suryan Sharma. It's no point to judge Pant's form based on the IPL. IPL will tell his fitness. Form can be judged in test matches as he was never a white ball player. But I'll only add, he was never a T20I yeah. impact player. Yeah, ODIs, he was still had good numbers and tests, no doubt. But I don't think you can talk about form here because we're judging for the T20 World Cup. Yeah. I'm not going to tell him go play five day cricket and then I'll determine if you're good enough. No, but he's looking at it from an Indian cricket point of view and to which I Fair. agree that yeah. for as an Indian fan, even I would say I would want a fit punt first thing, which is a test here and an informed punt for test matches because there he is a certified match. I mean, if you want India have a great chance in the BGT, if Pant is there. Yes. Ah, no, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. Changes the yeah. full equation completely. The Indian team looks very different with yeah. Pant there. Even if you're going to an extent where, you know, because Jurel's done well and you still want to go and maybe play him in the 11, I'd still play Pant as a yes. batter. I don't know how, but we we'll, we'll make the team. And also the intimidation factor, Australia are intimidated by two players, Virat Kohli and Rishabh Pant. Mm. It's evident. Fact. Yep. So, Pranit Datta is saying, happy for Parag, he has the talent to be the first player from the Northeast to represent India. Perplexed why Aksar is batting so low, he could have won DC the match. Pranit, exactly. second bit, I'm going to answer 100%. Yep. Akshar, Akshar for T20 World Cup for sure. Akshar is one of the better batters last year and yet they're batting him at 4-5 based on what? Reputation vibes? Ricky Bui. Yeah. The first part, Parag, first, he has talent, completely agree. First one to play from Northeast to represent India. Right now, there are a lot of contenders yeah. because you are only going to look at him now at the moment. I mean, I know he but plays he Ranji Trophy, he does well there, long format, all of that is there. But uh, so, first format, I think, where he, he will have a breakthrough chance would be T20 cricket. Yeah. I agree. He's a good fielder, can bowl. Uh, and then as now he emerged as a very good batter. For that, he needs to be consistent, a couple of consistent IPL seasons to begin with. And then maybe you can you can look at him. Uh, right. And T20, you will have a bit of a churn after the T20 World Cup. Yes. So then maybe he could. He could. Yep. Yeah. You, you will. You yeah. will so. First, a cricketer from Northeast. I know a lot of big cricketers have gone and played for Assam and various other teams, but yeah, they've not been from there. From the mainland, yeah, no one. Yeah, nobody from out. northeast, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, That's uh, interesting. There was one name that was doing the rounds, but then he faded away very quickly. In the, for Assam, he had helped them qualify for the Ranji quarterfinals. So Swarupam Puryakast. Mm. He was a very good Osman and a very good season. I think he picked about over fifty wickets in that fourteen fifteen year. But I think he faded like away. That too they've quickly. had they've had that other bowler, no, who picked up so many wickets. Uh, is he playing for Tripura or whoever? Yeah, it became uh, a sensation. There was that left-hander, yeah, uh, Rex Singh. Rex Singh. Rex Singh from Manipur. Manipur, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I, I think again, two few chances. And yeah. Sorry. No, maybe 
technically uh, Vidubuno Chopra's son is playing. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> but uh, even for Mizoram, there is a Kohli playing one. Tarwar Kohli. Tarwar Kohli. Tarwar Kohli. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's playing for Mizoram. Yeah, but that a lot of those ex-established yeah. players when they pass their prime. Same batch as Virat, right? Yes, I think Tarwar so. Kohli. Or no, or maybe a batch up and two, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, T Kohli and yes, B yes, Kohli together. Correct, yeah. correct, correct, correct. TV Kohli. TV Kohli. <laughs> Pranit Datta, what about DK for the keeper spot? Ship sailed, Pranit Datta, two years Mascara. ago. No, DK himself would have said no. Yeah. Mm. I think he said no after IPL, it's, ah, done, it's done. Right? done. Yeah. So, in that sense, that's the way. He is hell bent on showing us that image. Okay, let's go. Me seeing those, it's a ah, World okay. Cup Okay, DK year put memes. a tweet out. Me seeing those, it's a World Cup year memes. <laughs> and enjoying it. Good sense of humor. DK is a lovely guy, by the way. Superb. Yeah. Superb lovely, lovely guy. Yeah. But he and Ashwin together, my goodness. Mm -hmm. No, but, but uh, Ashwin doesn't have the sense of humor of a DK. Ashwin's rather serious. Serious, yes. But Ashwin can have fun. Uh, sorry, DK, DK can, can have, have a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. Shubham Garg Singh, Sanju has played 10 years in IPL batting in top 3. Can you tell one Indian player who has regularly played for 10 years in top 3 without 500 run season? Rohit Sharma. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he is an opener. We have, that's that's true. All the more reason to... Shikhar Dhawan had 2 years where he scored 600 plus. Shikhar has had those seasons. We yeah, can't... yeah Shikhar 2019 and 2020 I think. He had yeah, for DC. Not 10 years but Prithvi has played. A lot of season. <laughs> Six, seven at least, I'm guessing. 28, 18 Nine, onwards. Yeah, 18 no, no. onwards. Before that, he was playing IPL, wasn't he? No, 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 no. no. He was <laughs> three under 19 World Cup uh -huh. success. He, I think, got picked by DC itself. So, how many years? So, 19, not 18. 19, 19. 18, end of the year was when the final. Ah, 19. So, uh, 19 six, onwards was then. So, five okay. years. Six, six. Five, six years, yeah. Uh, not, not 10. Not like now. Yeah. Uh, only thing is, Ro but didn't Rohit have a 500 run season at 2013 or 14 in that sense? Not to my memory. Not because he hit one century against KKR. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, he would have had a couple of big seasons. He's in your top uh, three run getters, isn't he, overall? He's, I think, number f uh, top three Indian. I think he's there, uh, but amongst others, I think he's seven or eight, if I'm not mistaken. He's one of the highest run getters overall, yeah, in the IPL. Yeah, but his average is what is going against him. He is the ultimate anomaly in IPL. Rohit's a T20I great, but in an IPL, one century. One century. He is yeah. the reverse of Virat, if I have to look at it. We will see overall. Uh, no, not like that. Not like that's that. that's how he sees it. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Rohit Sharma, click Rohit Sharma. Has he had a 500 year season? 6,200. He hasn't. 489. Oh, that was the closest then. No, scroll down. No, 538, 2013. Ah, that's what. Yes. Is that that one, one century that I was thinking about. Ah, there Let's you go. Get here. One. Yeah, 79. Okay, he hit 450s. But that one century year, it was 2012. Like, Again, it's close again. 2015, 482. 482, 489, 2016. 2016. Yeah. I think there is no overall, 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 go back. Go back. Back, back, back. Yeah. Go to stats. Go Sub to stats. Sub super. Up. Up. Stats. Uh -huh. huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, records. 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 Right. Records. Yeah. Ha. Okay. Ha. All time. Ha. View ha, full view list. Full list. Orange cap. Virat Kohli ka picture. Ha. Ha. No, no, no. Go back. Not this. Well, it'll be most runs. Ha. Then piche, piche jao. Piche, piche. He's never won the orange cap. No, no. Ha. Okay. No, no, no. Are you? Ha. Same way you have to go. Yeah. Records. Yeah. Now wait. M uh, not most runs in a season. Uh, you have to go all time leaders. Come down. Uh, go down. Uh, name all time. Oh, yeah, give you full list. Of space, Upa, I think. Oh, yeah, we click that. No, no, go up, go up, go up, go up. No, no, that's per season wise. Yeah. So, no, that's just. I think you have to click on that full list to see that entire. You just uh, click that. I yeah, yeah. It wasn't it. there. Wasn't there? Okay. Let's check again. Yeah, it has got. It has got. Go yeah. up. Go up. It has. Go up. Uh, so Rohit comes at number eight. Eight. Yeah, uh, that's what I was wondering. See, among Indians. No, no, no. See, that's that's. See, that's what I'm saying. Is it by runs? It is by runs. Okay. 
Because his name is twice, so it can't same, be. Na? Same with Shikhar and David. Yeah, can't be. Also, can't be. Yeah, it can't mm. be. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, maybe. Why is there twice a repetition? I don't know why. It's no. some sort of a glitch, maybe. Maybe a glitch. Yeah, that's the thing. So okay, you take Rohan, another couple of questions. Yeah, we can mm. look at other questions. Let's look at the questions. Please, please, please. Repeat. Ah, question. Yeah, there must be a glitch. Yeah. Mm. So we'll have to check on that. So that's why. No, I'm checking. Mr. Shaker GTN is saying, "Good evening, gents. How can you forget? Pant has nothing to show in 65 T20Is with 125 SR." Unless he has 2017 18 type season, no priority for him in Agreed. W. It is an uphill task. Mm -hmm. Let us be very honest about it. But there is that emotional quotient with Rishabh Pant also. But then, as I had said, if all his contenders have a dip in form and Pant emerges the best out of them, then what do you do then? That's a catch 22, honestly, mm -hmm. for me. So that's why that's the situation. Shubham Garg is again asking, Nick, sir. Oz, South Africa were playing T20 at another level in 2022. Got knocked out in the group stage. Form matters over hitting ability. Oz won in T20. So, Rohit Sharma out. is fourth. That's right, sir. Because they had every player repeating. Fourth. He was fourth. 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 He's right fourth. up there. Yeah. Fourth highest run getter in IPL history. Yeah. Yep. It's no mean feat. It's no hmm. mean feat. But, uh, okay. So, Shubham Garg is saying, Nick, sir, Oz, South Africa were playing T20 at another level in 2022. Got knockout in group stage, form matters over hitting ability. Oz won in 2020 due to all toss. But in T20 in form is pretty much hitting ability. Yeah. And by the way, very different context because Australia were knocked out. Uh, After only losing one game. Exactly. And South Africa got knocked out because they didn't what South Africa do. They choked against Netherlands. Netherlands. They were on top of the table. They just had to win. So only of one of Pakistan or Bangladesh could have come through. But no, both Pakistan and India go through. Please, please, sir. Also, you are, you are cherry picking there by yeah. saying that uh, Australia, South Africa were playing T20 at another level in 2020, but still got knocked out. It's not even at, at those times. Like for example, India wasn't as bad, bad a team to be knocked out round one also in 2021. Mm. Yeah. So it does not. But I'm just saying overall view when you sit and you compare teams. And you look at the strength and the form and everything is looked at. I am not saying they are not top 4 team as of now. But I am saying for the very first time I will have to scratch my brains. And actually it will be a very tough task to be picking the top 4. Yeah. That's all I have. And 2021 won all due to toss. I mean that is agreed. Every team that batted second they won, won most of the time. So that was due to the conditions there. And Australia capitalized on the conditions. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, come on, if you are talking about only toss, uh, did the toss uh, make uh, Shaheen Shah Afridi bowl lose balls to Matthew Wade? No, exactly. absolutely not. So. That's my point. It's that so easy to pin everything on the one factor, oh, toss. Oh, yeah, work. toss, paper, uh, better on paper and all those kind of things. Mm. Freak knocks. Don't How many freak knocks? How many freak knocks? Over 10 years. Yeah. Pranit Datta, oh yes, I had forgotten about him. Assam had a fast bowler, Abu Nechim. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for MIR. MIR, yeah, yeah, that round Amish action that he had. Yeah, yeah, from Guwahati. Yeah, yeah I know. But uh, we, I think the question was about Indian. India, no. Yeah, not in India, not Mumbai Indians. Uh, Indians. Yes. Nobody is from uh, Northeast has ever played for the Indian team yet at this point in time. Uh -huh, that would be interesting. That will be a big thing if that happens. Yep. Okay, Piyush Tandre says, remember Ryan Parag said last year in an interview, I will hit four sixes in one over this season. <laughs> yes, uh, he did redeem himself. He was, his, he was vice captain in his fantasy team. Quite clearly. Wow. Right? Oh, well done. Captain oh. was Warner also who did well. Yeah, but imagine if it was reversed. He would have been winning his league. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, Anu42 says, Siddharth, the torch bearer of rationality, you are telling the fans that stadium should be filled with mute and emotionless fans to make them look like graveyards. Is it great for sport? Please stop preaching fans. Sorry, that I can't stop Anu42 for the simple thing that in the Indian context... Papa, don't preach. <laughs> nah, that's not the way it is. But see, in the Indian context, this kind of behavior has gone on for far too long, the toxicity that is there. That's why you have to call it out. And whoever is there, you are not speaking against it. So, I will and keep on saying that fans 
in the Indian context and look at what are the trends today, hilarious trends that are going on for supporting a particular player and one particular section is piggy banking on another section just to prove a point. What it is that? Sums up my point. Oh, so the trend is we support you Pandya, nation loves Pandya. At first we thought this is some sort of a, you know, uh, trick that yeah. people are using. Like then, paid PR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, then, then, then I went through some of the tweets. Majority of them were the quote unquote Viratians. All piggy banking to try and <laughs> get the Rohitians <laughs> down. Huh? Oh, so they're this. pulling the Rohitians. Ah. Yes, yes. Look at, look at the levels. The, how do you, how did you find out? Because the, I mean, to be fair, one they had ads like qualified. Don't make it that hard. Ah, uh, okay. So you went on some profile. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, Anu 42, I hope that answers. This social question. media is... It's, it's a cesspool of toxicity. And I'm sorry, whatever happened in Hyderabad, if it keeps on happening in all the other stadiums in India, it's only going to prove No, I'm okay point. with booing. Booing is fine. What I'm not okay is with certain terms being used on social media or people saying, oh, yeah. he should have been respectful of his seniors and I'm like... Yeah. And I'm sorry, the mean? Indian cricket fan has not been mature ever since 1969. Let's be very well, honest about specific, it. Yeah? Why? Why? In 99, Chennai crowd give them a standing ovation. One out them. of 100. No, but you were saying since then. So, the change are since, so since see, 1990. I'll say why 1969. <laughs> because on a fake rumour in Kolkata, you are ready to kill the Australian team. One particular member in that. In 1916 in Mumbai, one decision didn't go your way. You set the entire stadium on fire. Kolkata. Kolkata 99. Kolkata, Kolkata 99, 96. 96. Yeah. So many instances of bottle throwing in Vadodara, yeah. Kanpur. Do I have to give out a full list? Will we be here the whole night? Yeah, it's okay. Our fans yeah. are... Emotion. Why fans do you think? Why and do you then they are punished also. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think viewing experiences in India is a nightmare? Oh no, it's not just down to fans. That's down to you having some standard stadium facility. <laughs> it is. That is also there. I mean, please the, just go to Delhi sometime. It's a nightmare. Nineties man, the stadiums were terrible. It's not much Absolutely better now. Absolutely terrible. Now. It's not much better now. Okay, too. Shivam wants to say he's been raising. Yes, football fans oh, are yeah. far more Million aggressive X. than cricket. Uh, Million X yes, aggressive. That doesn't justify their behavior, yeah, especially the hooligans and the way they behave. But a lot of other times, I love that energy when you sit in a football stadium, they sing songs throughout the match, supporting their teams. Yeah. So that energy is also needed. Otherwise, what's the sport without? I that? mean, you want a model fan if you want to look at it, fan base. Look at the Japanese football team. Yeah, yeah. But that's everyone cultural. can't be. Cultural. That's, cultural. that's, cultural. that's right. cultural. Everyone that's can't right. be like that. Okay. But they're only one in a million. That's right. the problem. But that's, that's a culture in Japan in general. Yeah, mm. it is. Yeah. Man, they're cleanliness. Oof. Yeah, yeah. They clean the uh, stadiums. And it's, uh, I told you, it's not just you only know about the World Cup teams and all that. But the culture. The junior Japan. teams yeah. that came here to play under 16, under 17, I know organizers. Mm. They said they, the junior teams, they came to India, they played a tournament in Goa. They not only cleaned their dressing room, they cleaned the entire stadium where the match happened. So the match finished in Fatorda or somewhere, wherever mm -hmm. they had the match. The under-16 team of Japan was there. They finished the game, so they cleaned. There was not a fancy dressing room, but they picked up all the bottles of water that were thrown near the dugout for both teams, collected it, put it in a bag. Then the team went around the stadium, the crowds had left. They had left bottles, chips packet, whatever. They collected all of it, yeah. cleaned the stadium. Yeah. Then after playing, this is 90 minutes of football the kids yep. have played. Then sat in their bus and went to their hotel. Yeah. So that culture is I mean, very different. You're not getting it. Yeah, yeah you aren't getting yeah. it. That's, it. That's a country event. Sports today ke madhyam se mere request hai ki hamare jo cricketing fans hai na wo jo hamari itni achhi chairs lagi hoti hai stadium mein un pe khade ho jate hain unse poochte hain sala kar dete hain. Inka aap baba ji ke naam sandesh baad mein de dena. Do Shivam has a request to all fans, please don't stand on the chairs when you are in the stadium. Okay. Easier said than done. Okay, Shubham Garg. Suppose if VK won both tosses versus Park New Zealand in 2021, do you think India would have lost those matches? India would have been favourites if VK won all tosses. Listen, no, India would not have been favourites even if VK won yeah. the toss against New Zealand. They are a terrible batting lineup. Yeah. Let's not now get into we won Hindsight, the toss yeah. there and we won the toss there. 
if we had won the toss in 1983 first match if india did not get a chance to bat first in that match versus west indies bat it second <laughs> india would have lost that first match india would have not qualified for the semi final india would have not won their first world cup yeah. and by the way before Forget travis it, yeah. became a nightmare for you in two icc events new zealand were your ultimate nightmare for 20 years in an icc event and heading into this t20 world cup two teams against whom you have never won a t20 world cup match you want to face them one is new zealand the other i think it's sri lanka if they <laughs> manage to do well so. they never beaten sri lanka they have never beaten sri lanka in a t20 world cup shivam please can you come out here yeah, today he is just asking questions piyush nandre is asking why the combination of sachin sehwag lara and kambli was sitting on the bench <laughs> who's that prithvi achha <laughs> prithvi sir ah, good question we raised it too we raised it too oh, indi why why exactly what wanted to be for do yeah so one more super chat he's sleeping today man yeah. he's busy participating yeah. in our discussion today. yeah manchester rising from the years oh god i'm not going to hear the end of this okay sorry to say this but generalizing ict based on the behavior of a few is a fallacy said manchester rising the very assumption that it's a behavior of a few that itself shows that you're living in a parallel universe my friend having a platform comes with lots of responsibility having a platform comes with the burden of telling the truth and showing the mirror and unfortunately in the ict fan i am selling mirrors to blind people that's the thing okay final comment anu 42 uh shane you follow football correct it's not even 1% of what football fans do agreed i'm not supporting that behavior but without emotions what's the point of watching sports you know what i agree without emotions there is no point is it anything i i i've always uh, heard from certain people oh i like the analytical side of sport and i'm like oh boring are you i i want that surge of adrenaline that's what makes it great okay good point there by i also agree with what shane has said i think that question should have been addressed by siddhartha as a problem but tuhin kumar basu has an interesting comment and he hmm. wants to know that aaj mein karke aaya hmm. was something that hardik it sir yeah we know in that show. so you know that obviously didn't go down very well oh, yeah. with people in that so why are you upset when fans are using a word or But words against him what, that's a question that's a, what would be your reply oh dear god that's a that's a culture war i don't want to take on first off there's nothing wrong with him having there is a consensual relations with anyone because that was the point of him saying that no but but i i'll agree with that that was crude the, yeah the way it was said it was crude it, yeah, it it's a so you are having a relation or you are, you actually treated the opposite sex as a commodity fair, that's fair. what came across through that ah, so it was crude was yeah if you said that i've had multiple relationship over time that's fine you you put it but yeah. uh, you know i respect all the women whatever something like that that was fine but i will only say one thing to that just because he made a crass comment for yes. which i think he regretted oh, and that episode was removed payment. right that does not justify the crude comments that you guys are coming up and that that one word that has been used against him on social media that doesn't justify it doesn't that's called what about re yeah okay you what about you did that i am not ready to accept my mistake i'm saying what about him he did that that's not the way it works two wrongs don't make a right yes so it does not he opened up about it hardik pande he was very honest about it and he said that yes i will not give you any further reasons to have any negative press around me and over a period Sorry, of time, he said that he said that but then see this is something he never anticipated and i think he didn't know wrong honestly hardik pandya didn't do any wrong mm. this hardik pandya situation is the ultimate litmus test for the indian cricket fan because the indian cricket fan is myopic as far as this concerned only personalities matter franchisee team can not take a not all backseat. not all you are generalizing which is the point that that was yeah, I but know. i think we've but seen but it's a fair majority and it's reflecting whatever has happened in the two games it's reflected in that just come to the regular comments uh, shivam there were two related to what we are just discussing uh, one second uh, okay if you want to be ens just be indian yeah. we've said that before social media fan bases are really irritating you should not be chat i agree just go on top there were uh, just slightly ha uh, huh, okay ashish dhar said sadat what about racist comments from aussie crowd i mean uh, have i uh, said that uh, every fan base in the world is mature apart from india no 
we have called out Aussie fan behavior also. I mean, in the 70s and the 80s and until 2006 and 7, A.B. de Villiers and the South African team had said that we had lost a lot of respect because of the racist chants from the Aussies. And the Aussies are no saints themselves. Let me be very clear about it. I mean, the Australians cannot be held as the models for good fan behavior. And that's neither right. is England. Mm. And there is no ideal fan base in the world when it comes to cricket. And that's Maybe why to a certain extent the beige cricket. And yeah. that's why they don't command that respect. The yes. Aussie fans. You want to be the same, then that's a I but I maintain that there is no space for racist comments and abusive yeah. comments. Everything else, if you're having banter from outside or expressing your displeasure in a civilized manner, as booing is, I think. Yeah. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, final comment we'll take from, no, there's a, there's a chat. From uh, yeah. that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not this one, the last uh, one. Okay. <laughs> this one I read instantly and I knew it was <laughs> the first. Hi, uh, Mr. Shekhar, yes, you sent us a, a wrong ch uh, chat, but your other thing is, uh, which is a very interesting one. He says, no Shane for KKR, no Mohit, for Delhi how, game. How does That's he true. know that? No, no, he went for the last KKR game. Oh, he, you're not there for the last KKR game also. Yeah, KKR yeah. SRH. Again, you're not there for KKR game. Yeah. How is that done? How is that? that uh, who, who makes the sketch should be sacked? Okay. Should be sacked. <laughs> You'll get the mails. Why couldn't, why couldn't it have been swapped? He could have been not here today and not. I'm sorry, whoever makes the sketch but, has to uh, that got. But I would also say whoever is off should have that thing that it's my team's match today. Doesn't matter if I'm off. I'm going to come to office and be with my extended family and Actually, share my joy and so whatever. It's a very, that's very sad. Good very point, important. Mr. Shekhar. No, good, good point. Funny you mentioned the word good because that's what tomorrow is. So ah, I know, I know, I know. Well, Mr. Shekhar, it was But nice what, what was there last, last week? That was the only days I could take off. No, could yeah. have changed. No, I wasn't there at that ah. time. So. Okay. Days. Well, Quickly. Mr. Shekhar, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Pranit Datta. Uh, says, please don't call them Indian cricket fans. We're fans of Indian cricket. These are Ian's toxic and followers of a single player. Don't generalize at all. Well said. You can, by the way, there's nothing wrong being fans of general or a player. Mm. Good. Very good. And that's what sport is all about. Mm. But don't. Uh, you know, spew venom on yeah. another player. Mm. Love your player. Pack him. Stick by him. Turn on the TV for him. Turn off the TV if you don't want to watch. Uh, fine. Mm. Yeah. But if somebody has a different opinion, don't go all out abusive on him. Correct. Learn to respect other people's opinion and other players as well. You do, as we say, do whatever you want to do. Don't trouble your mother. Mm. Yeah, that is Same true. thing. Do whatever you want to do. Don't get abusive yep. and pull down somebody else. That's all. Exactly. On that note, we'll be back tomorrow for... Today. Yeah, today. Later today. Later take today care. for RCB versus KKR. Yes. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks Nandri. for your company as yeah. always. Yeah. Nandri Vanakam. Yep. Nandri Burger. Nandri Burger, yes. Nandri Burger. <laughs> yeah, Iga fan. Yeah, it was nice knowing you too. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Shiva, are you awake now? Yeah. Can you end? <laughs>